These men claimed to be real victims of the tobacco industry. They came all the way from Ibadan in Oyo State to share their plight with Nigerians. These are young men who claim to have given their best while working for a company they believed would lift them out of poverty. They said they believed BATN's publicity on how its factory in Ibadan would add to the local economy through employment generation. But today, these men say they are victims of an industry that not only markets a lethal product, but also ensures that people it engages for work do not leave its employ in good health or better life. It is very unfortunate that whenever the government agencies are uh, to come to the factory, they will stage, they will stage a kind of everything is okay show. And once they are out, it becomes business as usual. We keep suffering because we have no voice. We keep suffering because there's nobody to listen to us. We keep suffering because the legal system is too cumbersome and too expensive. To get justice in Nigeria is not easy. 99% of people working there, as in, in production, are sick. Yeah, it's as, it's as a result of work. It's a result of what you are doing. The condition of work, the working condition, is not conducive at all. It is what, and, and carelessness, and carelessness, and carefree, wait, 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 carefree attitude of our management. They don't care. They care only about their own pockets. So what are they asking for? Enforce compliance. Safety compliance. BAT is not responsible enough. The gadget they are giving us that is supposed to provide us, to, to shield us from hazard, they are not potent enough. What they are after is cost saving. Cost saving at the expense of the workers. This is the impotent nose mask that we've been using for years. The nose masks that are meant for um, cashiers at the bank and um, servers at the eateries. This is what they gave us to work in the industry where dust is saturated anywhere with steam and all that. Experts have called for improved monitoring of companies' activities to ensure full compliance with labor laws. What we need to do now is to begin to beam a searchlight on companies such as BAT to enforce the regulatory mechanisms and to force them to take responsibility for the heal health they cause in Nigeria and to begin to change the narrative from the fact that BAT is providing economic diversity and providing more jobs to the fact that BAT is actually responsible for productivity loss and Nigeria is losing a lot of, you know, productive human beings through their exposure to either to tobacco dust or tobacco smoke that BAT is vigorously pursuing. In response, BATN in a statement said allegations are based on labor issues which were managed according to BATN's policies and ranged on various issues which include poor performance, disciplinary issues as well as health related redundancy. The statement said all these cases were objectively determined in line with internal processes, global policies, and all extant Nigerian laws.